Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your May 2023 Life Sector Tarot reading with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. So these uh, readings are purely tarot, there is no astrology in these, uh, I, although it does seem to keep cropping in so I apologise for that. But um, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody, that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, let's give these a good shuffle and see what's going on for you over the course of May of 2023. Okay, so for your actions and plans, you have... The Knight, of, uh, the Knight of Wands, all right, so with the Wheel of Fortune, all right, uh, and the Ten of Wands, your passion pays off this month, my dear Saggies. This energy is fantastic for you. Now, for me, the Knight of Wands already has a very Sagittarian feel. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, uh, and the Ten of Wands is the third deacon of Sagittarius, which means this month, you are absolutely in your power. You are acting in your own, not when I say your own best interests, what I mean is you're not fighting yourself. You're not getting in your own way. There's nothing hold it like there's nothing holding me back. <laughs> All right, like this month, you are absolutely going for it. I love this for you going after those passion projects, being ready to release something out into the world, to share something with people in a really big way, which is very, very exciting. The thing is with that 10 of wands, <clears throat> that's the number 10 and the wheel of fortune itself is number 10. Two tens represents a big change, right? So it usually represents change, but it represents a big change because we've got the wheel of fortune involved. So this sees you not only going after your own plans, but it also potentially sees you taking a very different route to a big hope, goal, wish, uh, you know, that you had kind of envisioned for yourself. For a lot of you, this may have uh, something to do with a community, uh, connecting with people, uh, you know, that you consider like tribe, etc. This could be very, very good for you. And it's also very, very exciting. So it looks like you are getting in, right? And that's all fire energy. So your, your actions and your plans are about to take off in a big way. So for your career and communications, you've got that Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from something here, potentially an opportunity. You've got the Queen of Swords, usually an air sign woman, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, but it's also a card of what we fight for. And you've got the Death card, right? So for a lot of you, this could be you either relinquishing or releasing a job, uh, maybe in order to go after your own business. It could see uh, a lot of you really um, deciding, you know what, I'm going to go in this direction. And it's like by doing this, you understand, OK, you know what, not only am I going to potentially come up against some kind of opposition, but I am likely, it's almost like there's, once you walk through a certain door when it comes to the career this month, you know there's no turning back, all right? So this is one of those moments in life where you kind of just, you know, you're going for it. Uh, so I like this. Now, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, for a lot of you that are studying at the moment, this may very well be where you decide to cut that out where you decide, actually, you know what, I'm not going to go back to school, I'm not going to study this, I'm not going to take that on board. Now, I know for a lot of you, you're probably thinking, we're Sagittarians, Raph, study is kind of what we do, it absolutely is. But remember, your ruling planet, Jupiter, is going to come into Taurus, which is a lot more practical, down to earth and embodied. This may very well be the month where you decide, I don't need to study more, I just need to do more. So this is where things take on a much more practical slant for you. Um, I do have to say as well, you know, we've got to call a spade a spade here. There is a potential, and I really hope I'm wrong on this front, but this could be a work colleague. You've got the Queen of Swords here with the Death card. It's possible that you could hear about a work colleague that passes away, and I really hope that's not the case. And, you know, to, to narrow it down, to make it more specific, a touch wood, and I really, I do not revel in these predictions. 
but there's a very high possibility that this person passes either on, over, or around water. It might be, uh, you know, that they drown, you know, I, I don't want to go into it too much, but that's the possibility here. Now, on the brighter note of the scale, if you're employed by somebody else, this could literally be like the month where you hand in your notice. That Queen of Swords, though, don't, don't be surprised if your boss fights you tooth and nail and says, look, what's it going to take for us to keep you? Right. And maybe in the back of your head, you're like, nothing. I'm going for my own business. I'm ready. I'm going to do it. I'm getting in. I'm going after it. Um, yeah. You know, I, I feel like a lot of you will strike out on your own in some regard this month. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is either you parting ways with a client, potentially one that has been somewhat problematic, it's also possible that you could be um, deciding to kind of step away from um, a certain type of clientele to open things up a bit more. Uh, it could also be that you are giving yourself a more, maybe you're giving yourself a more direct route to the things that you actually want. Like it's like you're giving yourself a lot more freedom and a lot more permission in it when it comes to your business. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you fire some of your clients, <laughs> right? It happens, it happens. There's whatever your industry, right? When you work for yourself, there comes a point where you will come up against something where you're like, you know what? I cannot, will not, choose not uh, to, to work with this person. I, I can't and I won't, right? Maybe this month there's that. Now for your love and relations, uh, sorry, I'd forgotten uh, you guys. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, again, possibly um, that news, I hope that's not the case. On a more personal level though, this could actually spell the end of an argument, right? Maybe you've had a problem or an issue within the fam family or familial sphere, and that could actually come to an end this month where maybe you say, you know what, we're gonna have to agree to disagree, let bygones be bygones, and you know, we'll move forward with as much teenable peace as we possibly can. Um, for your uh, love and relations, you've got the Page of Wands. There's a spark here with the Ten of Cups. If you are single and ready to mingle, this is absolutely wonderful. This is banter, it's fun, but it's fun and banter with some, like, and the thing is, like, for me personally, not that anybody cares to know, but I'm gonna share it, share it with you anyway, because I can. <laughs> All right, there's nobody out there to tell me not to, ha! <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's just uh, me being an idiot, but, like, for me personally, if there's no banter, like the banter in, for me and a partner, it tends to be quite hard. Like, I like the, you know, the, the, the tough jokes where you rib each other to the point where it's like, if that were anybody else, they'd be like, oh my gosh. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, because that for me, like the level to which that you can joke and, you know, sometimes dispute and argue and debate with your partner is very, very indicative, indi indicative of uh, the level of depth that you have within that commitment, as far as I'm concerned anyway. So banter, good banter has to be a part of it. If you haven't got the, if you, you know, here we say in the UK, if you ain't got the chat, don't bother. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's it for me. I need that banter, it's important. This looks like a lot of that, but because you've got this with the page of wands with the 10 of cups, there's a sense that it almost happens really quickly with this person. Like you're able to just joke with each other at a level that you're like, is this too much? And you're like, no, this is great. Like it's hilarious and it's fun. And it's, there's a, a connection there. There really, really is. There's a meeting of minds here and it's fun and it's flirtatious. So get out there and enjoy it. For those of you that are um, partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is beautiful. This is you having a heart-to-heart -heart that allows you to really connect with somebody and say, okay, you know what? Now that we, we've cleared the air or we're clear on where we're going from here, things just improve. For your money and materials, you've got the star card. Love this with the queen of pentacles and the eight of swords. So your money looks kind of good, to be fair. Um, uh, an earth sign woman, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, could really help you enhance your earning potential. 
One thing that I am gonna say to you though, whatever you embark on when it comes to earning money, making more money or calling more money in, be prepared that not only what you set into motion this month, not only is it gonna be a part of your future, it's going to be a part of your world for the long term. That's the only caveat here. Now, because you're gonna be working really hard on this at the start of whatever it is it looks like, it is important that you pace yourself so that you don't burn out. Um, I'm intrigued by this, I really, really am. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, you're looking after yourself and particularly your nervous system here. There's something going on here where you're really paying attention to your nervous system and also to your motor skills, your fine motor skills. Now, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but I'm intrigued by this for sure. And then when it comes to your home and environment, it looks like a lot of you are giving yourself a really, um, Maybe you're bringing, maybe you're buying more tech, more equipment for uh, for home or for work, some kind of gadget. If you can wait until after the 16th, or in fact, if you can wait until like the 21st of May onwards, you'll be in a much better stead for it because Mercury will be fully direct at that point. It won't be out of shadow, but it will definitely be fully direct, all right? And unless you've got a Mercury retrograde that you were born with in your chart, you never wanna buy new devices under a Mercury retrograde, okay? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.